Now, so we're getting closer to the release of Dragon Ball Sparking Zero, we gotta realize that this game isn't without its issues. And as you know, the builds that YouTubers got to play, as well as other content creators and uh, news outlets, they that build is actually pretty outdated, right? So each time we see new and new like versions of the builds, they update more and more things, such as here. They've actually ended up fixing the Super Saiyan 3 Goku issue, and many of you guys might not even be aware of what it is. But if you look at the bottom of this Super Saiyan 3 Goku, you can see that his muscles, like his muscle mass isn't all that there. And then you see at the top version up here, you can see that he's way more bulky and looking like that Super Saiyan 3 that we all know. Because down here, he kind of looked more like the base slash Super Saiyan God build versus up here of his like Z build. So I think that they heard that feedback or they kind of updated it to what they intended for this to look like. And then you can kind of see it a bit better here as well. And then there's also going to be gameplay where we get to see this a bit more in terms of detail. And then in the gameplay, there's actually a really funny glitch at the start of the Goku intro. Where he like powers up and he's got his like bulky build. And then he reverts back to his like regular build. It's really crazy. So let's start looking at some gameplay for Sparking Zero. Okay, so now we're here with the gameplay. And we're going to see Goku end up transforming into Super Saiyan 3 at some point here. But right now he is actually fighting uh, Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. And you can see Goku has his halo. And dude, I really can't wait for this game to be here. Like, with each month we're closer and closer. Like we're in July now. We're about, what, three months away. It's looking good, man. <laughs> so there we go. I love the transformation. So he goes Super Saiyan and it looks super good. Like genuinely. Okay. So he's got his uh, key blast waves there. That's Vegeta's technique. <laughs> I swear a lot of Dragon Ball fans just have like a singular brain cell where we see something and we just go, oh, that's that thing. Is it going to go Super Saiyan 2? Yeah. There we go. Super Saiyan 2 here. And we all know Super Saiyan 3 is one of the most iconic transformations in the franchise as well. And now it's going to go Super Saiyan 3. Oh, instant transmission. Okay. Instant transmission. Command mail. Sick. So there he goes, Super Saiyan 3, and it looks good, man. So there it is, and if you didn't catch that there, there's an actual glitch. So we're going to go back here, like he's he's completely glitched out. So you see, this is the new version of Super Saiyan 3, right? And then we can go frame by frame, and you're going to see, like, watch his muscle mass here, right? So I'm going to turn off my webcam so you can kind of see it. So watch this bit here. Are you ready? Yeah, he, he actually ends up, for a frame here, he ends up reverting to his old, like, really weird shading. Like, you can see this isn't meant to be here. So he's got, like, less muscle mass and everything. It's really weird, man. <laughs> so that is definitely an interesting detail. Like, look at this. So there he is. He's all cool. And then he just reverts. Like, bro just lost his muscle mass. Come on, Goku, you can't be losing that. But let's keep looking at the gameplay here because I think he's going to land a Dragon Fist as well on Beerus. And that Dragon Fist attack is the coolest thing ever, man. Like, it's one of the most iconic things as well that we all know and love Super Saiyan 3 for, especially from the Hero Dagarn movie. Oh, here he goes. Oh, dude, that's peak, man. Look at it. Yeah! <laughs> that's my goat right there. That's so clean, man. So there we go. Oh, it looks so good, man. It genuinely looks so good. So is this the Super version? Can he go like Super Saiyan God or is this Z version? I think it's Z, right? So then we got some Broly gameplay as well. Which is always great, right? Look at him go. Super Explosive Wave there. Oh, man, I am not looking forward to dealing with Super Explosive Wave again, man. I really am not. <laughs> But the animations and everything, the stages, it's so beautiful, dude. I really can't wait to jump into this game. And I'm really looking forward to the ranked sort of play where it's like DP battle where you just have a certain amount of points. Because that's how they're going to balance it out. So if you if you play as Earthlings, you'll probably be able to play like five characters. Versus like really strong characters, like it will probably just be Goku and Vegeta or something like that. Like depending on the transformations. So that'll be definitely interesting to see. 
But you already know, like, on launch day, we're going to be... Oh, my God. He just destroyed Vegeta. That's pretty canon there. And then... Oh, grade 8. Oh, brother. Vegeta just came back as a grade 8, bro. Oh, dude. That is so clean. He just burped on him. And there we go. 20,000 damage. What the hell? Okay, he just goes to Gogeta. And you can see, like, base form Gogeta is just able to, like, actually stun the hell out of Vegeta. So that's really interesting to see that he could do that as base Gogeta. Oh, super explosive wave on Gogeta as well. Oh, brother. <laughs> oh, brother. Hey, he's got Super Saiyan. Let's go. That's my goat right there. He looks so clean, man. It really does, though. Okay. Alright. Looking good. Looking good. I hope to... Come on. Go blue. Go blue. Yeah. Oh, that's so clean, dude. I love this game so much, man. That's so fire. So, I think it's about to be GG's. Oh, Stardust Breaker. Oh, hell yeah. And there's the windscreen. Ugh. <laughs> The goat, he looks so good, man. He really does. Okay, so let's go back here to the actual, like, early gameplay as well, because I want to see those transformations again. Because this really does look good. So, Z Goku with the Halo. Boom, there we are. Super Saiyan looks so, so good, right? And then he does his, like, Vegeta technique, right? Okay, wait, so he's already transformed, I already missed it. Because he gets, yep, he gets the blast stocks pretty early. Oh, that animation. I love the references, man. They really leveled this game up. Like, it was, it's definitely worth the wait. Like, this came out of nowhere as an announcement for us. And I think life is good, man. <laughs> and there you go, Super Saiyan 3. You're going to see that glitch for a split second. It's so funny, dude, because <laughs> it just comes out of nowhere, man. But we gotta see Dragon Fist at least one more time here, because the, the way the music changes as well, and they're gonna have, like, anime soundtracks here as well, but that's gonna be all copyrighted, so I don't think you're gonna hear that much in, like, videos. Um, so that's gonna be more so for your own personal enjoyment, because people like to make ad revenue, and anime OSTs don't make you that. Well, some of them are copyrighted, some of them aren't, but, you know, that's content creators, we don't mess around with that. So let me know what you think of this change for Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Do you like the new version? Do you prefer the old one? Or do you think it should still be a bit more buff? Let me know in the comments below. Watch another video here. Thanks so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Peace.